Hi everyone, this is Master Art Sandman 1, and today I am doing a review on a LAPD SWAT member. So, this is based on a picture which I'm showing right now, which I found on the internet, and I thought I would replicate that picture of a LAPD SWAT guy. Also, I made a Super 90 for him, so this is just to get it off. His pistol is a Brick Arms uh, Colt 1911, and this is a uh, Combat Brick M4 Super 90 shotgun. And then this is actually a Mega Bloks M4, which I custom made. So now let's look at the figure end. So here is the figure. So first of all, we'll take his M4. So this. Um, is a Mega Bloks M4 piece. It has the M4 barrel, which then I cut the um, uh, the muzzle brake off of, and I also cut the iron sight off. Uh, it has a laser sight, which I custom made out of clay on it, and then it also has a red dot um, sight. It has a little riser on it to make it line up with what would be M4 sights there, because of the barrel sight relationship that the M4 uses. So this also has the, um, can't remember, it's a LMG, but I can't remember what it's called. It has a drum magazine and stuff, but it's from Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 3. Oh yeah, the LSAT. But, yeah, thanks for bearing with me while I tried to remember that. But So it has that stock because that looks like an M4 stock. I painted it black. And then I also cut off all of the um, little bit that makes it able to be, like, makes you be able to add a um, scope onto this because I I just crazy glued the sight on so I figured I won't need that and to make it look more like a real M4 I did that then also we can look at the M4 Super 90 that I made so yeah as I mentioned this is combat brick I painted a little red dot onto the red dot sight I painted the gray bit on which attaches the flashlight and I painted some white on the flashlight. I also painted a little bit of dark gray on the cheek rest. But that's it for that. So now let's do a 360 of the figure. I'll just put, put his arms out just so you can see him better and see what I did to him. So yeah, with the 360, of course I added pieces of other tactical vests to the sides of his plate carrier so then it would kind of have the side bits. I uh, custom molded this little gas mask pouch out of clay and then I attached it to one of the leg pieces and then for his pistol I made one of my custom cardstock holsters and painted it black. I also painted the little um, leg straps on but if we look at his pistol as I mentioned earlier as well sorry for dropping that this was a brick arms Colt 1911 pistol which then I cut off the end uh, to make it look like it had more rectangular slide so I made it into a block because LAPD SWAT do use blocks then for this figure I painted some details onto the helmet. It was originally, I think, tan, but then I added some gray and a lighter gray for the visor and stuff, and I also painted all of these parts black. But then I also painted the knee pads onto these jeans pieces, and I painted them in um, some gray and tan to again replicate that one picture that I found, and then I also painted his shoes in black. Or I guess it would be more like hiking boots or something like that. But yeah. So now I'll put this figure back on a stand again. The pistol just slides right into the holster, just like that. And I'll give him back his rifle. And we can put his stand back in the middle of the screen. And now, let's just wrap up this video. So now, as I finish up this video, click here to subscribe. Click here to see my playlist of all Call of Duty related figures and just custom Mega Bloks figures that use the Call of Duty bodies. And 
yeah, so please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Also, I know it's been like three weeks since I last posted, but I have lots of content to make videos on, so just look out over the past next week, or over the next few weeks, sorry, not past, that I will be making videos on everything. So, yeah. Master on Sandman 1,